Hey, what's going on? Cameron Schreiner here from Georgia Tech, and today's VEX video is about limit switch programming. In this video, you'll learn the basics on how to program a limit switch and some tips and hints on how to make it more efficient for your program. All right, let's get started. So open up EasyC version 4. And for right now, we're just going to do a standalone project. That means no competition files or anything like that. And we're also only going to be working with the joystick or the controller of your robot. Hit OK. Now, the first thing we need to do to start making a limit switch program is to add the code that will make this program run. So in program flow, there's a programming block called the while loop. Drag that in between variable and end. And in the while section, type in 1 equals equals 1. And what this does is the program will check to see if the value of 1 equals itself. And since it does, this program will loop as long as this stays true. Okay. Next, let's add the limit switch code. And in version 4, in the joystick section, there's a pre-built block that says joystick digital to motor and limit. Now this programming block is really nice because it has everything already made for you. We're assuming we only have one driver for right now. And I personally like to use either channel 5 or 6 for arm control. Those are the bumpers on the top of your joystick and I just feel those are the easiest to hit during competition because you don't have to take your thumbs off of the driving sticks. So let's choose channel 5. Now this first section is the forward direction or down. So when your arm is moving down its motor value is positive and in the limit switch section this is the limit switch that will stop this arm movement. So for this one, we want to choose the limit switch on the bottom, which for my elephant bot is limit switch number 8. The next section is the reverse direction, or bringing the arm back up. And the limit switch that stops this arm's motor is limit number 2. Now you will choose the motor that is moving your arm up and down. And on my robot, this motor is, port, is in port 6. So make sure you look at your robot and double check that these port numbers are the same. Channel 5 is the button I want to hit on the joystick. The limit switch that stops the arm from moving down is port 8 for me. And the limit switch that stops the arm from moving up is limit switch 2. And the motor that is moving my arm is in port 6. So once you've double checked and you have everything correct, go ahead and hit OK. And you've just completed the simplest program that you can make for a limit switch. With it already being pre-built, it makes it very handy. So we're going to go ahead and download this by hitting the Build and Download button, or you can just hit F7 on your keyboard. Wait for it to compile, and hit yes. Going to wait for this little blue bar to finish writing the code, and you will be good to go. All right, now that this program has finished, let's take a look at what it did on the robot. So now when I move my arm down and it hits this bottom limit switch, I can keep hitting down and it won't move anymore. And conversely, if I bring my arm up and I hit the top limit switch up here, I can keep hitting up and the arm does not move any further. But I can still move it down out of the way. So now you guys know how to program a limit switch to keep your arm from damaging your robot in the midst of a competition. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.